Hey guys, Pax here, and today I'll be going over Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 66. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, basically how this is going to work, I'm going to go page by page and basically just explain what's going on in all these pages and just in kind of discrete detail. So if you're new to my channel, I really do suggest that you like and subscribe to my channel. I make Dragon Ball Super type of content and I got a lot of stuff to make, especially after this um, the saga ends. It's And it, it's coming close to the end, okay? This is... If it, if it doesn't end in this chapter, it's already confirmed it's going to end in 67. That's why from what, from what we heard, it's going to end at 67, so yeah. Anyways, let's get right into this. Um, so chapter 66 is called Moro Consumer of Worlds. Um, so these first few panels, we basically have all the Z Fighters finally fully um, fully healed. Um, you can see everyone, they're, they're actually kind of freaking out here because it feels like their power is getting drained and they don't really know why. Vegeta right here fi actually finds out and he's like, oh wait, everybody get off the ground because Moro is actually absorbing everyone's energy. It's the first time I saw this, it was it, it reminded me of like a kind of like a four spirit bomb, like in a way like um, a spirit bomb is usually like a technique where like people give you your energy. But in this case, Moro is just sapping it away from everyone. So it's kind of like that. So as you can see over here, um, Moro is basically just sucking up everyone's energies. Also. I forgot to say this, but if you guys hear a lawnmower in the background, I'm sorry, okay? Um, the streets are literally filled with leaves right now, so... I should have said this in the beginning of the video, but... Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so for the next panel, we have a pretty cool shot of Moro actually punching... Um, Goku, like he's about to punch him. Goku does indeed block it, as you can see right here. Um, we got a pretty cool shot of him blocking it. Um, I really love this because again like it's MUI so they didn't, they didn't fully diminish MUI's power like again this is MUI Goku he fucked up yeah but he's still pretty powerful um, but he does struggle a bit so there's still like it's still debatable if like Moro is even more powerful than MUI but I don't think so so as you can see right here <laughs> um, I made a huge meme about this this is a uh, Moro's dick fist <laughs> as you can see from this Moro sucker punches Goku. So the next page, we have Moro basically saying like he have nowhere else to run. He just he basically has like a ton of arms. He can just summon whatever arms. He's a, he's a magician, so wh why not? Um, next panel, basically they're just talking it over. Beerus basically says like, okay, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna intervene. This is getting too far like out of hand. He's gonna do it quickly so that the gods of destructions won't make fun of him. But before he does so. Whis gets a phone call and it's actually from the Grand Priest and so of course Beer shits his pants he, he literally shits his pants he's like you know what fuck this you know what fuck you guys yeah this is your fault this is this is all your your problems and he basically says like okay we gotta go you know <laughs> that, that's a bigger that's a higher priority than this um, so but before they're about to go Whis actually goes and talks to Goku he basically he basically tells Goku that the only way that he can actually defeat Moro is by punching his his gem. You know, his gem inside, like, um... If you guys remember, that's exactly what uh, Mirus did to severely weaken Moro back in, like, chapter 63. And basically, that's what he has to do. So yeah, Beerus and Whis basically, they just basically leave. And we got another pretty cool shot that I really, really love to see someone call probably yours already colored. Um, we got Moro just looking <laughs> menacing. He's he's basically just losing his mind. He's slowly just losing his mind, which I love really. Like, I'm not really that fond of Moro, you can tell, as a villain at least. Um, he just keeps on getting bigger and bigger, and as you can see, the gem is actually sinking into his forehead. So they really have to do something about that. So what Vegeta Vegeta does is I don't know if like to be fair, did he? I don't know if he... He probably just overheard Whis saying that because I don't think he knows like that's his weakness but I guess he just kind of assumed that. So as you can see, Vegeta here, glowing with power. Um, he uses his fission powers to disrupt Moro for a moment and basically just pull out the gem. Um, he can't do much because like that's the height of his power really. So like all he can really do is just hold the gate basically. Hold this gem. And Goku's... This goes right into it. He goes right forward. He goes for the punch. Um, we got this cool shot right here. 
Can't wait to see this in the anime. Goku basically goes through Moro's fists or his arms. And look at that. That looks amazing. I just, I just love that. But plot twist before he gets in to like punch it, he actually gets stopped by the last arm and gets trapped. And we got this scene kind of reminiscent of um, Mecha Cooler, like when they're all tied up inside Mecha Cooler's um, The Big Getty Star. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that's what it reminded me of. Um, you can see Goku getting like basically just crushed. Um, so yeah, everyone here is just freaking out. Uh, Jocko actually said like, okay, I gotta go run an errand. Um, you, you'll see later on what he's gonna do. He doesn't really do much. He just says like, okay, I gotta run an errand. Um, where's he off to? You're gonna find out later. Goku actually taps down to base form. So like everyone's just freaking out now. Um, Piccolo and the other Z fighters finally arrive. Finally, fully resurrected. That took so long for some reason. And Goku's like, okay, yeah, that's the fucking four stooges right here and basically piccolo says like oh can you do it like a can you reverse your spirit vision which is basically vegeta says like oh yeah it's possible but like what he's saying basically is as you can see from these panels right here kind of like a it's it's kind of like a spirit ball but it's not really i would call it an energy ball really because like a spirit ball a spirit ball shit a spirit bomb is more of like a it's more of like a offensive technique. This one's like more of a supportive technique. And yeah, this is, you're gonna see later on that this is not a regular like, if it is a spirit bomb, it's not a regular spirit bomb. And it does remind me of like a, another movie that I kind of like, especially the ending. I mean, the ending's already iconic. So yeah, Vegeta right here, he basically says, okay, give me all your energy. He gets everyone's energy and he throws it to Goku, as you can see right here. Um, and Goku just absorbs the energy and he gets like a huge boost of power. But the downside is that that wasn't even that much power. I mean, like, again, like he only got it from like a few people and to be fair, they're kind of, they're kind of weaklings and he's only able to go to, um, he's only able to go to blue form. So unfortunately that wasn't enough. He tries this, this scene reminds me of like a, he's kind of like a car engine. Like if you're trying to like start up an engine and it doesn't start up. That's basically the same feeling of this whole, like, this whole panel right here. He tries to push in, but, like, he just couldn't get out of Moro's grasp. And as you can see, everyone here is tired. Jocko arrives and he's like, Where, where's Boo? Boo, I haven't seen Boo in, like, well, like, five, five chapters. He, like, he needs to be in this manga. And we got Moro here. He's getting even more crazy. Um, that shot, man. Dude, holy shit. Dude, his horns. What the heck, man? This guy is Unicron. So Goku basically saying, sorry guys, I, I fucked up again. Um, Yamcha actually over here says like, oh, hey, we, we should just, we should just escape. We should go off like and just escape Earth and then use a super dragon balls, right? And then revive Earth. And Krillin says won't work because Moro will explode. Like when he explodes, it will destroy the whole galaxy and most likely at least one of the super dragon balls, which does big questions. Like apparently, I guess the super dragon balls aren't that indestructible as I thought. I've always thought of them as being like super indestructible. I mean, it does make sense though, cause like they can wish for anything. And I just thought they're basically indestructible, but apparently they are. So that's, that's a crazy thought now. So like someone can actually destroy the Dragon Balls. So I can see a villain really just doing that, like doing a wish and destroying the super Dragon Balls. But yeah, I, I, it would be cool for them to like, um, to work on this idea in future sagas. Basically, just saying, oh, okay, Dragon Balls become space dust. Yeah, yeah. And see, so go. <laughs> Moro just, he just basically lost his mind. Like, finally, at least. Uh, at least he's not very, like, corny and generic anymore. He's just crazy. And Vegeta is basically saying he'll explode no matter what. We gotta get power to Goku at least and try. And uh, Miyamsha is right here just saying, like, oh, I'm gonna die like a. a not virgin. Uh, like, an unmarried is all depressed. But then look. Ten. What the? And look at that. There's a ton of power. Where did that come from? It's divine power. And, of course, it came from Oob. And to be fair, I think this is this is a good way to introduce him. Like, that. This is a, the first time I was like, okay, at least, like, this actually fits so well now, if you think about it. Like, they introduce Oob. And from what, what I know, like from what like it is inherited, like it's shown, 
um this all power all this power came from oob so like it really does build up his potential so again like props to tori toro for introducing oob right here because they're basically showing like his potential like this is not even his full potential he can go even further so he's not going to be severely weaker than goku and vegeta and that's that's even like pre majub but they ever go for majub and we also got grand supreme kai here because <laughs> boo is basically useless it's kind of sad it's Oob. Oob had the power all along. Of course, um, Oob inherited all of the divine power, basically. And everyone's happy. This shot looks the screams stranger danger, but you know it's it's okay, man. This is this is grand. <laughs> I don't know, grand grand Dio. He's fine. So we got this cool shot right here. Vegeta basically throws the quote unquote uh, spirit bomb slash energy ball, energy bomb at Goku. And we got this cool shot. Um, I said this. Let's look at that, dude. This kind of reminds me of Ty's like meta power from Young Justice. If you watch Young Justice, he basically turns into this huge kind of. This is like this weird spirit form he gets with this, all the excess power, and he basically just pu this pushes down Moro. Um, I love this scene. It really does. Like, <laughs> you can meme the shit out of this scene too. Like, what is this? <laughs> It's cool to see though. Like, I can really see this in like Duncan Battle. I, they're very, they're gonna milk this out in Duncan Battle. This is gonna be like a some kind of like finishing move or something, active skill. And Goku, finally back to MUI. He goes for the punch, and he destroys it. Everyone's like this freezes for a bit, punches it, and we senses that it shatters. And we got this cool shot of this more just crumbling down. It's exploding, erupting with, I guess, I'm guessing that's magma. Um, everyone is confused, like, what happened? Is it over? And we got this few shots. We got we got Piccolo up here, like, yeah, look, look at this guy. And yeah, it's over. Moro is dead. I, hopefully. There's still, there's still one chapter, supposedly, so you never know. Maybe he's still alive. They could pull like a weird boo thing and we were like, he's still alive. But as far as we know, they, they didn't really confirm it. I mean, Goku did that. So I guess that's already confirmation. And yeah, that was, that was the dramatic finish right there. That was your dramatic finish. And that's, that's the end of the, the chapter. Um, overall, I, I think they did very good to wrap it up. Like really, um, I wasn't really fans of the, like the last chapter at all. It was kind of stupid in my opinion, but this is actually. It, it did some justice. It, it was okay. It was all right. I mean, Moro again, not my favorite villain. Um, to be fair, I would prefer even Jiren from him. Like, not like as an antagonist. Like, if you if you're grading from an antagonist strictly from that, Moro is definitely better. But Jiren is just a lot cooler, in my opinion. I mean, like, not really cooler, but I just I just love the I love the animation. <laughs> I'm just saying that I love the. The reason why I love tournament powers is the animation, the fighting. It's just, it's a mix, good, bad, really, if you look at it. But the animation's always good. Um, anyways, yeah, that's that was Moro. That's the death of Moro. Um, supposedly, man, you never know. Maybe he's still alive. Apparently, there's one more chapter. So, um, I'm actually planning to do like a, like a whole like summary of the whole saga, and I'm planning, I might just upload that probably like December around December ish, because again, I I want to be sure that. This is the end, or like at least after the the draft pages, which is gonna be like around the December, around December fifteenth, thirteenth, around there. So, yeah, that was that wasn't that bad. I, overall, I would rate this uh, eight point five out of ten. It really does like it's a good ending, and it also sets up for like future events. Like, look, you got over here Beerus. Um, you got Beerus basically talking to the grand prix setting up setting up that kind of if that's gonna be the next uh story arc then we got that you also got oob again introducing this is a, this is a very good way to introduce him like they're probably not gonna show him for like a couple like probably after the time skip is when they introduce him but yeah this is a good introduction to him it's like the amount of power he has since all this power is from him basically so that's a good introduction um Again, this, this scene kind of seems just weird. I love, oh no, actually, I love these three panels too. I just love like the zoom in shots. 
I just, I'm just a fan of the three panel story structure. If you like Watchmen or Three Jokers, um, <laughs> just Moro's faces. He's clearly lost his mind. Overall, eight point five out of ten. It's it was a pretty good ending, really. Like I can really see, like it does give that Dragon Ball ending. Like especially at the end where like he gets all powerful and just punches it and just everything just breaks out of hell. It does have the Dragon Ball vibe of an ending, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that was that wasn't that bad, really. If if someone died, then I just I don't know. I, as soon as Goku screwed up, I was like, all right, if someone dies, this. Don't, don't do that this this ended as fast as possible and that's what Tori Tori did luckily um so yeah that was that was a moro saga that was that was a death of moro let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below again i really did love this it wasn't that bad um can't wait to see more of oob and yeah that's really just the video hope you guys like the video be sure to drop a like and i'll see you guys when I see you, peace.